What's up you guys? How are you doing? If you're new to my channel, my name is Evangeline Sons and this is my YouTube channel. This is featuring because I have dust allergy going on so I have two things giving me company right here which is fine. It's not gonna stop me from filming this. Sorry about that. Let me already... Let me already give you a disclaimer. I am sitting very close to the window and there's a lot of construction that's happening outside. You might hear all of the banging and the drilling and all of that. So please excuse me. I'm going to be as loud as I can. By the way, I just want to tell you, I saw my numbers grow, which is so amazing. It means the world to me. Thank you so, so much if you have subscribed to my channel. But for today's video, I am so excited. I don't know why I did that, but for today's video, this is 21 questions makeup edition by Ali Glides. So I didn't watch the entire video because I didn't want it to, you know, influence my answer. And I have the questions right in front of me. After doing this video, I am going to sit and watch her 21 questions. I want to see what she answers. Also, I just went through the question once. I didn't have time to plan it or think of it. So everything is going to be very quick, very honest. So let's go. For the first question, what is the oldest makeup product in your collection? I'm actually not sure because I am not somebody who's a hoarder. If things are over, I tend to discard it or if expired, I discard it. So oldest makeup product in my collection, I think would be, let me see. I think the oldest thing that I could find was this mascara by Maybelline. It's somewhere around seven to six years old. Something that I was using for my brows. Last I used this was I think two years back. I have to get rid of this. For the next question, what is the most recent makeup purchase? Two days back, I got my micellar water and my cleansing balm by Plum. These two got delivered. For the third question, what is the first makeup product you ever used? When I was in school, I was not a makeup lover or something but the idea of just colors i used to love drawing and all of that so the idea of colors were just fantastic to me and i think i was in second or third standard i remember uh, using this eyeshadow palette that my mom had and that was something my dad bought for her from saudi so it was a very weird looking case it was like a rat case i mean in those days these things were something people used to buy so it was like a rat case and you open it and there were layers of eyeshadow and lip gloss i remember mom had this lipstick from oriflame and it was golden color like legit golden color in those days people used to apply gold lipstick so that is something I remember using it just to take it out apply it and just go like pose around in the mirror which is so not my character honestly I was just the opposite of that I was super boyish but uh, I don't know why I was doing that for the fourth question what is a makeup trend that you used to love but now you hate listen this is just my opinion this is what I like and I don't like so I if you're doing it great good for you it's still a trend so don't get offended you know back in those days there were these uh, trend where you apply like a brown lip liner and you apply nude lipstick on the inside so it was just one outline in those days also I did not like it and even now there's this trend of ombre effect which is nice but I'm still not a huge fan of I wouldn't say hate too aggressive of a word but I would say you know applying dark lipstick and then putting in nude in the middle just to give that full of I just don't get it I can't even say it I don't like it so yeah that's just what I think question number five what is a makeup trend that you used to hate but now you love guilty but I used to absolutely dislike the idea of applying blush on your nose and I used to feel like it was a very clown look I don't know I just did not like it of course again there's a way to do it people tend to go overboard with it which makes you look like a clown but I initially just did not like it and now I always do that when I head out so I like it now I love it question number six what is your favorite step in your makeup routine Two, if I can cheat, if I really am bare face and not doing anything, then probably I'll just stick to lipstick. But usually I go with mascara and lipstick. So these two are my favorites. Question number seven. What is a makeup product you can't live without? Uh, this Miss Claire palette in the number two is something I cannot live without because it definitely has some good amount of blush colors and highlighter contour so there is everything in this that i need it's a very affordable palette which is i don't know why which is not talked about much but definitely this 
question is what sparked your love for makeup makeup is not too personal for me it's not something i really love i can't live without or something like that but i do like the idea of painting people's face that's just how i go about this and i love 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 to get brides ready i have fallen in love with makeup more ever since i started getting brides ready the joy that i get to see and just to listen to their story and just to be with them on their day it just makes me feel so special and i love that that's when probably a bit of my love for makeup increased what is the worst makeup look you've ever done oh my god for that i'll have to go back to my history it's actually this picture and i'm going to leave this on the screen for you guys if i can find it this is a makeup look and it's actually a tutorial that i uploaded on my youtube channel there was like a very clear plan of that look in my mind i was not okay that day mentally and i just had like a panic attack there are a couple of videos which are on my channel when i filmed on those days but this is one of those videos this look turned out to be i wouldn't say bad but i just i know that it could have been better when i uploaded i did not think about it too much but now when i look back that's not my favorite look what is your favorite makeup look you've ever done there are few but this is something i like because of the video and let me just show you it's actually this makeup look that i did for my gram i'm not playing the audio because of copyright issue this was fun and honestly this is one of my favorite video too what is your favorite drugstore makeup product for this i will have to say maybelline fit me matte foundation because it has my perfect shade and for the next question what is your favorite splurge makeup product i wouldn't splurge for myself i would splurge for my clients probably it's going to be foundation it's going to be matte foundation that um i would splurge on what is your most repurchased makeup product it has to be my foundation i tend to use it so much and because i film and i make videos foundation is something that i happen to use a lot so that is something that i end up buying a lot for the 14th one what is your earliest makeup memory as i said earlier it has to be me trying out my mom's lipstick 15th question what is your favorite place to shop for makeup i will stick to online because i'm not a person who likes to go to the store and pick my products yeah i will stick to the online market for the 16th question what is the most underrated makeup product you own I know what I want to tell and I want to know why are people not using or talking about Krylin makeup because they have some amazing amazing products I for a fact know that for shoots for TVs Krylin makeup is used and it gives such a good finish I have been using it for 5 years now but again when you talk about underrated products I will say they are foundation they are loose powder no and if you're using Krylin if you like Krylin let me know in the comment section because I have seen many people use it so it's going to be interesting if you guys are using it or at least know about this brand question number 17 what is the most overrated makeup product you own okay i tend to rave about this product but i also know that it is just overrated i will have to say i have the og eye shadow palette here with me which they have discontinued but these shades are beautiful i will not deny this but i also know that i do have such formulas and such beautiful shades with me so definitely i will say this is the most overrated product according to me sorry about the light that's fading i don't have light set up in front of me it's just the natural light so i hope you don't mind i know that it's becoming a little dim now so i'm going to quickly wrap up this video as fast as i can we are on the 18th question now what is a discontinued makeup product you wish would come back for me i think would be i don't want to ask for anything to come back but those lip gloss by maybelline those were the best ones and i feel like they should come back because now is the time when people are using a lot of lip gloss and it's become a trend now to top your lipsticks with lip gloss so i really really do hope that i find that question number 19 Where do you go for makeup inspiration? It has to be Pinterest. I love the looks there. You get such good ideas. You can either try what you see or you can just create your own makeup look with just all the ideas you get. So I love Pinterest. I also like Instagram. Not as much as I like Pinterest, but Instagram because there are a lot of celebrities that I check out and I love their looks and I follow their makeup artists. For the 20th question, what do you hope to see less of in makeup's future? 
future. I will have to say in the future and even now I want to see us celebrating our skin more and not layering our skin and trying to make it normal. I think we as adults we can still differentiate but sometimes when you're in your teen insecurities can creep in and it's very easy for you to think that layering is the best idea but it's not. I feel even as we are on this platform and we have this chance to make visible skin normal it is important to put that out and for the last question what do you hope to see more of in makeup's future i think i did answer that in my previous question not realizing that's something i'll have to answer but you know having my face bare is also fine if i'm doing makeup that's also fine but it shouldn't define me in any which way but definitely being wise with what you do with your skin is so important again to each its own but i do feel that layering is something that we really need to sort of dissolve and we need to come up with appreciating our skin more that's the end of the video i am so so happy that finally i got through all the questions some really took me back in those days and realizing that i did play around with makeup so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit that bell to be notified don't forget to follow me on instagram because i do put a lot of content out there so you might want to check that out feel free to try this out you can leave the answer of these questions in the description box down below you can answer all of them you can answer few whatever you like but i would love love to read hope you enjoy this video i am signing off now don't forget to stand tall stay strong and love strong mm -hmm.